I just want to take a few moments to share with you what did Raji Malhotra ji do in the past three days. He came in on a Thursday afternoon, had a long discussion with the head of the Ramakrishna Mart at Vasangudi, following which he took rest. But then the rest was also no, the peace before the, the calm before the storm. Next day, there was a brief meeting with Mohan Das Pai, just 15 minutes. But in the inimitable style that Raji Malhotra ji is, there was a guest of Mohan Das Pai, who was from Hindustan Times, a very senior editor, who I think organizes the Hindustan Times Summit. And very interesting discussion, which kind of brought out, because I was witness to it, it kind of brought out how many of us would like to have face savers because we lack the depth. And that led to a very interesting invitation for Rajiv ji to be the chief guest for a literary conference hosted by the Manipal University at Jaipur, which he is going to do on 21st evening and 22nd morning, right? Followed by a very beautiful talk that he delivered to the students of Amrita University in the Amrita University campus here. The topic was on how to leverage our culture and civilization in preserve, for preserving it. This talk was telecast live amongst the other three campuses of Hamrata. I guess about um, more than 1,000 students attended it actively. And very interestingly, it's the timing, you know. It's 2 to 4 p.m. post-lunch. Many people are tired. Most people might be sleepy. But we had a very alert audience and a very active audience and a very young audience. This was followed by a talk at the Indian Institute of Science. Again, another young crowd of scientific minds making deep inquiries with Rajivji, all right? And uh, he's kind of got a good fan following amongst the youngsters because they seem to have no inhibitions about calling a spade a spade, not for the heck of calling a spade a spade, but for understanding what things are at the deeper level, right? The next day, there was this workshop on Dharmic collaboration over the social media. There were about 80 to 90 youngsters who sat in rapt attention in this workshop led by Rajiv Malhotraji, wherein he posed the typical problems that people face when interacting over social media. It's not like how you tweet or how you write a letter or how you write an email or how to participate in the discussion list. It was all about do you have your fundamentals in place, the intellectual integrity, the psychological strength, the dharmic depth, the perseverance and commitment, the ability to have your attention span for more than two, three hours. Because you should look at this gentleman. In fact, let me share a very interesting tribute to Rajiv Malhotraji. Somebody in Canada said, Rajiv Malkondra, meaning does he sleep? <laughs> right? So he is a very, very passionate person of 63 years young, active and puts so many youngsters to shame. Anyway. So post that workshop, we had another workshop on focused on the contemporary challenges to the Dharmic Indian youth leadership. You know, many of the voluntary organizations that do interesting Dharmic work in India, we have youngsters shoulder a lot of responsibilities. And they have a lot of conflicts that they face. How do I be Dharmic? And yet, how do I accept the contemporary, shall I say, best practices of how do we conduct ourselves? In fact, it's a very interesting workshop that was attended by more than 90 to 100 people. And they wouldn't leave him alone. Following that, we had a private CXO summit. It was, um, the special invitees included Mondas Pai, um, Mr. Mysore Prasanna, the retired group general counsel of Aditya Birla Group and former chief legal officer of LNT. We had... Uh, Mr. Murli, who is the managing director of Sriram Properties. We had Professor Vaidyanathan from IM Bangalore. And we had an uh, eminent set of CX level folks, decision makers, influencers in society. And what did Rajiv do there? He says, look, all these youngsters that I addressed had a lot of interesting projects that they wanted to do. Where's the support for it? Can you guys help me out? We had Monda Spy share very intense thoughts in that address that he gave to all of us. Of course, it was of the record, but right. Following that, today morning, we had a very interesting workshop on how to nurture dharmic traditions in our temples. That looks a little oxymoron, because temples are supposed to be having dharmic traditions, so what's the big deal about it? If you look at the famous Ananta Padmanabha Swami temple in Kerala, 
if you look at the treasure that is there, it's like the pipe dream for many of the secular folks in our government. They say, we have a huge current account deficit. This can wipe that out. We can have better times ahead. But then, is that how we should think? Should we not honor the dharmic sentiments of those who had deposited that wealth for a period of time? Or should we not nurture the dharmic sentiments in the hearts of the folks who come to the temples? It was a very interesting focus for the astikas, a lot of devotees, plus the management committee members of prominent temples in and around Bangalore itself, who had a lot of questions as to how to handle contradictions, conflicts. This program was presided over by Pooji Swami Harshanji Maharaj from Ramakrishna Mat. Very intense thoughts were shared. And of course, following that, we had this program. And we'd like to say, Rajivji, this was very excellent for the one reason that either we agree or disagree with you, you made us uncomfortable. Do you agree on that point? All of us, I think, should at least agree on that point. Right? And over and above that, go read that 17 pages preface of this new book called Indrasnet. It will set you on fire for two reasons. Either you get fired up to do something, or you get fired up saying, oh my God, there's something really hot here. I cannot handle it. Which means that there's something more that we need to do.